What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're going to go through how XXX Tentacion's Jocelyn Flores was made on FL Studio. This beat was produced by Potsu, and for my Patreon supporters, the FLP and the stems are now available to you guys. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and send me a DM. I respond to every single one of my DMs. I want to go through the sample first and how you're chopping it up and adding effects to it, and then we'll go through the drums. You can find the original sample on Instagram by Shiloh Dynasty. This is the sample. First off, set the tempo of the track to 134 BPM. Then we're gonna drag that sample into the playlist. We're not changing the BPM of the sample. We're gonna leave that at 134, which is the tempo of the track. And you can see that Potsu, the producer of the song, didn't change the tempo of the sample by comparing the waveforms of the sample to the original song. So you can see it all lines up perfectly. Say if the sample was at 128 BPM, if we tried to line it up now, you can see that it wouldn't match. It would slowly get off tempo. But when it's at the project tempo of 134, it matches perfectly. Boom, I said it. So we're not stretching the sample in any way. We're gonna leave that as how it is. But what we are doing is chopping it up so that it stays on beat. So this is before. Then after. If you're wondering what these lines are, it's to stop the sound from clicking. So go to your de-clicking mode and choose generic bleeding. So if we left it on out only or no bleeding, you would hear some clicking in the sound. You can hear it jumping over the sample. It's not smooth, but when you add a de-clicking mode like generic bleeding, you remove that clicking sound. If you like to use samples in your beats, it is so important that you know about de-clicking modes and using things like generic bleeding to avoid that clicking happening in your samples. Next thing for effects, go to your mixer. We're using RC20 Retrocolor for some cassette noise and some digital, then bring the width down to zero. This means that the sample will be playing in mono because the original sample that you'll be downloading is already in mono. I'm not sure if that's because you're downloading it off Instagram or because it was uploaded in mono, but the sample that we're using is in mono. So you don't wanna be adding stereo effects to a mono sample. You wanna leave the effects in mono as well. That way there's no unnecessary muddiness to the sound. I'll show you what I mean. You'll hear a really big difference if you're wearing headphones. So if the width was in stereo, but once you take it down to mono, if the original sample is in mono, you don't want to have some stereo effects coming in the background. You want the effects to be in mono as well. That way they merge nicely with the sample. Next thing we're doing is adding Isodot vinyl. We'll bring the year down to 1930 and we're adding some dust, which is what you can hear up here. But we're automating the dust so that it's only active in the intro and then for the rest of the song it goes away. The year also changes to 1970. And if you're wondering how you automate an external plugin, just tweak the parameter you want to automate, then go to add automation for last tweaked parameter. And that will create an automation clip for the last parameter you tweaked. Next up, we're using Fruity Compressor to compress the sample. And that's active almost the entire way through the song. Then we have this really interesting looking parametric EQ2, which we are also automating the mix so that it's only active in the intro as well. You also saw Valhalla Room, which is a reverb plugin, and we're automating that so it comes in at these points in the song. So that's all the effects on the sample. For the master, we're using Isodot Vinyl, taking the year down to 1930, and RC20 Retro Color, adding this EQ. And those are active on the master at these points right here. So for example, like during the breaks. Now let's move into the drums. First off, we have the kick. I'm not sure if it's the identical sample, but to show you just how close it looks, I exported the project and we can bring it back into the playlist. And you can see just by looking at the kick, how similar it is to the original song. This is the Tech Kick Bam Bam, which sounds like this without any effects. Then on the mixer, we're adding Parametric EQ2 for a low pass filter. Then DS10 Drum Shaper to increase the sustain, the mojo and the gain. So that's gonna sound like this. So that's the kick. This eight bar loop for the sample repeats all the way up until here, where it changes again. 
which reverts back to the original in the outro. Next up we have the hi-hat. This is by far the closest one I could find and we're playing this loop and you can see the hi-hat is just one sixth step away from playing exactly on beat. Then on the mixer we're adding some parametric EQ2 as well as RC20 for some increased distortion and space reverb. Next up for the snare, I couldn't find any snares that sounded close enough, so I made this one myself. You can see even by looking at the waveforms, we were onto the right idea. Looks very similar, and it sounds like this. We have one more thing to go through, which is the white noise coming into the outro. Sounds like this. And we've automated the volume and the channel pitch. This sample is also panned to the right, like in the original song. That's it for the remake. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the music playing in the background, you can check that channels in the links in the description. And if you want to get your own music on this channel, hit me up on Instagram and I will use your music in the background. This was the most requested X remake on the Discord server. The server link will be in the description below. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.